it was spring of 2010. It was my first semester at USC, and I ended up taking this class, um, Immigrant America. It was this class that inspired me to write this book, and today I'm here to really talk to you about why I wrote the book, how I wrote the book, and how it's actually been published today. I grew up in Los Angeles, and I'd heard about undocumented immigration and the immigration debate that was going on, but I didn't really know that much about it until I took Professor Viejo's class. And the two things that really struck me as just being crazy was that one, we were taking families, some who were documented in the family, some who were undocumented, and we were tearing them apart. You know, some were being deported back across the border. Another thing that was crazy was, at the time, there was a huge wave of people crossing illegally through the Sonoran Desert. The desert is enormous. Sometimes they'd run out of water and they'd die. So that was something that really struck me was that something this crazy that I didn't hear about a lot was happening in my own country. And I like that idea of identity. You know, what does it mean to belong? What does it mean to be an American? So I decided if I'm really gonna write this book, I really needed to see these things firsthand. So I went back to Professor Viejo. I asked her to help me apply for the SURF grant, which is the Student Undergraduate Research Fund that USC offers. And I was able to use this to not work for a summer so that I could do research in Los Angeles and also in Tijuana, Phoenix, Tucson, and Nogales. When I began this research for real, I didn't have an idea for what the book was gonna be. I wanted to just be a sponge and just take everything in. And that meant not having any idea so that the research itself could spawn the idea. 